it wasn't talked about as much in the Asian community when when I first got it. I used to really look forward to Ramadan and I used to be like, you know what, 30 days, yeah? No one is eating, I'm not eating. After I break my fast, I get this urge of just wanting to binge. It's my second year fasting um, and I haven't fasted for almost more than 10 years. Honestly, you do feel left out. It's it's a saddening realization that you can't take part in the things that you could take part in. I can't control when I eat or, you know, it's very much like in front of family or with family. So I had a um, iftar uh, invitation today and um, I think the anxiety got too much. It can be quite daunting um, for me personally where it feels like you do lose that bit of control. Feeling so much better after iftar. Um, I definitely needed the food. Um, it can be a kind of an excuse to not eat enough. I think a lot of mental health disorders in the Asian community but I think in the Muslim community as well, um, in the past, although it's getting better, has been like kind of shunned to the side. A lot of the times, like when I was younger, I would often cry as well about it because I, I, I didn't know it was a health problem, but now it makes so much sense. One thing about Ramadan is that I have self-control, but after I break my fast, I get this urge of just wanting to binge. I go to the kitchen, I just grab whatever to eat. I want to talk about something I was deeping today and something that I had a thought of. And the reason to why I binge a lot of the times is for comfort. I think that eating food will comfort me, but realistically, it really won't. It just makes me feel horrible. Arab Muslim community, it was very difficult. From what I experienced from body shamers, they would always question, oh, why are you eating this? Or you're chubby, or you should lose weight, you should go to the gym. But they aren't aware that this person could have a health problem. If you, I mean, you know, research and you look at the history of uh, Ramadan literature, I was the first one to write about it. When it comes to the Asian culture, it's simply that people don't even know. The culture we live in because of these, you know, fad diets which are being promoted related to fasting. So fasting has lost all the basis in spirituality. It has become something completely different. Very generalized that all Muslims can fast. But realistically, not all Muslims can fast. You know, many people have health problems. I would definitely advise talking to your GP. If you need to go private, get that help because, you know, you deserve better. You, you deserve more than this.